Well, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, so to, tonight's hearing of the Zoning Board of Appeals uh, is going to need to be continued. Um, so we had been operating uh, remotely under Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020, which expired at 12.01 this morning. Um, the state legislature has, there's a bill in the House and a bill at the Senate, um, which they both had um, agreed to. And then when they went to, uh, the House marked up the Senate bill, sent it back to the Senate. And now it is in the, it, as of about 5 p.m. went back to conference committee. So um, the governor has not, the state legislature hasn't yet approved the bill and the governor hasn't approved the bill. So all of the provisions of continuing um, certain aspects of the uh, of how meetings were held during COVID, all of those have expired and they have not been reinstated. So unfortunately, if we were to hold a hearing tonight, it would be in a violation of the state's open meeting law um, because we are not meeting in a physical location. And so for that reason, we do need to continue tonight's hearing. Um, and so uh, to that end, um, with the agreement of the, the board and the applicant, um, the date that we would recommend is uh, next Tuesday night, Tuesday, June um, 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Is that date amenable to everybody? For John Carney, that's fine. Yes. Well, for 1165R, that's fine. Perfect, thank you both. Um, so with, with that, um, we have one more person in the waiting room. I just want to make sure that they're, everyone's aware. Um, so because of the, because of the, the issues at the state house, um, so we are going to vote to continue, um, till next Tuesday at this point, um, we will be anticipating that we can meet remotely, but that decision will need to be made Thursday. Um, so it can be posted on Friday if that is the change. Um, so the idea at this point, um, so I move that the, the board, um, that the, the two hearings that are scheduled for tonight both be continued to Tuesday, June, excuse me, June 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Uh, to be conducted remotely unless the the open meeting law is not amended at wit um, to it it would be an in-person meeting um, at a location to be determined second thank you mr hanley so members of the board um mr dupont aye mr hanlon aye mr mills aye mr o'rourke aye mr revelack Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. And the chair votes aye. So we, tonight's hearing is rescheduled to Tuesday, June 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Um, I can stick around for a little bit if anyone from the public has any questions about what's going on. It's a little complicated. Um, but everyone else, if you thank you so much for coming out tonight. Apologize that, um, that we're unable to hold this hearing this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Question. Yes, please. Sister, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Chairman. Yes, please. Uh, this is Steve Moore. Oh, I, nice um, how, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. It's got to be frustrating that the state house couldn't get this done in time. We don't, we knew a long time ago this was going to happen. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, the bill, the bill that they're trying to pass seems to be doing everything at once, um, and so it includes a lot of things that are related to restaurants, related to alcohol policy, related to housing policy, and as such, it's just. It's oh, really wow. hard for them to, to make any kind of a you know definitive agreement. I didn't realize it was so massive. Um, uh, maybe that was a mistake, huh? To make it one <laughs> piece of legislation. Could very well be. 
There are also some complaints on the Hill that the governor didn't give anyone any warning that this was going to happen. So he weighed in at the last moment and mm -hmm. people, were, people weren't ready. Yeah. I thought the government, I mean, I thought Baker uh, put together legislation a week, at least a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Am I, am I wrong? No, you're right. The, there was already both a Senate and a House bill at that time. So that 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 made three. Oh, geez! No, and, I didn't know. You know, more is merrier doesn't apply in this situation. <laughs> really? Oh, it's got to be frustrating. I mean, because the the closing date for ten sixty five R doesn't change, does it? Because of this? No. No. Right. No. It just it just compresses the timeline. Yep. Exactly. Oof. Well, as I said before, are you guys. Uh, you guys um, ought to be. Uh, uh, how shall I? How shall I say this? You you deserve medals. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the work you do is hard and constantly made harder by things like this. <laughs> I just I'm I'm surprised. Um, well, not surprised. I mean, we'll, we'll figure out the remote thing because it is it is a it has increased participation, but absolutely. Um, I just I just continue to be amazed at the uh, the level of competency you folks show and have to show to make all the uh, all the things happen on these very complicated cases. That's very kind. So, Thank you. We're, we're lucky to have you. That's all. Just want to say that. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. All Take good. care. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. I haven't had anybody else drop in the last couple of minutes. Um, so I think with that, unless there's, unless anyone else has questions about what the state legislature may or may not be doing, I think we'll go ahead and, I don't know if we necessarily need to adjourn. I don't think we can. <laughs> we didn't really open. So we never open. Yeah. You just continued. Uh, All right. Well, All right. thank you okay. everyone for coming out. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Sorry you had to come at least to this part. And we'll, uh, Good night. we'll be in Good touch. Night. Good, Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye. We'll see you later. Thank you. Take care.